What's up internet? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to treat the gas tank and give it a new liner, clean all the rust out. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. So we've got some cream products here. Not that I'm trying to make a cream commercial, but this is what we're going to use. There's three, three products here. There's the, the liner, which is the last thing we'll use. There's B and there's A. So just like a regular alphabet, we'll start off with A which will clean all the rust and kind of etch the metal inside the tank. Um, that etching is necessary so that the cream liner will have something to adhere to. And this stuff is really mostly just alcohol. So once you run A through the tank, you rinse, and B will actually um, help break down all the H2O. It actually says it right here. Tank prep B conditioner removes H2O. So it's got to be mostly alcohol, which breaks down water molecules. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so if you're interested in that, stick around. Before we um, put any chemicals inside the tank to clean out the rust and prep it for a new liner, we want to make sure we wash it out thoroughly. So I took my tank down to the local car wash with this high pressure nozzle and wash it out best I could. Now before I did this, I made sure the tank was completely drained. Um, I bought a two and a half gallon gas container, drained everything into that, took it to the local hazardous waste site because I just didn't want to try and reuse any of that 15 year old gas. It was gross. Um, the other thing I would recommend doing is wearing long pants, wearing gloves, and some eye protection. And none of which you will see me do in this video. It's a typical monkey butt video where do as I say, not as I do. Um, you're just, you're just going to get um, splashed water all over your shoes. Some of it's going to get in your legs, um, potentially in your hands. And if you're not careful, as you can see here in the slow motion, um, you can get some in your eyes. So wear protection, long pants, gloves, and eye protection. So now that we've completed stage one, stage one was us at the car wash with the power washer just rinsing out 15 years of gunk. Um, stage two is this tank prep A and uh, one of the problems we're going to have is we've got to seal the tank, right? So we've got this big gaping hole where the fuel pump mounts. And, you know, you could say, why don't you just use the fuel pump? Um, because it's absolutely disgusting. I don't even want to put this back in there. Um, so we've got to come, come up with a way to seal this. And we've got to come up with a way to seal um, the gas cap. So we're going to dump in tank prep A. And this is concentrated. And we have to add two and a half gallons of water, warm water. By the way, there's very explicit um, instructions that come with this kit. Um, this is one of those times where I actually RTFM first instead of dumping this stuff in here and going, hey, why didn't it work? And then RTF, RTFM later. So definitely want to read the instructions. They're very, very specific. Um, and that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to use an old BMX tube, a rubber BMX tube. We're going to cut this up and use it to cover up the um, fuel pump and then do the same thing on the other side for the gas cap. That's the plan. I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but that's what we're going to try and do. All right, we're ready to cut up some BMX inner tube. This is a, a BMX inner tube from a 21 or 20 inch wheel. So we're going to head and cut one of these up and then I'm going to measure it. I'm going to cut it about right here. Give us plenty of excess. Then we're going to cut it on the inside so we get double the width. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that'll work. Then we need to cut another piece for the gas cap. Flip her over. Nothing should leak out because there's nothing in there. So, man, you know, I was thinking there'd be more of a lip right here because my plan was to lay the rubber over and then use like a zip tie. 
Um, there's not much there. This will be interesting. Okay. None of this is rehearsed, people. <laughs> We're doing this for the first time on the fly. Okay, we've got the fuel pump mounting area covered up with our BMX rubber inner tube. Covered that with some duct tape. We did try and attempt to stretch the tube over the mounting area um, to try and help create a tighter seal. So this is attempt number one. We're going with the Gorilla Tape. We'll see if it works. There might be some subsequent attempts after this, but for now, that's what we're going to go with. Oh, can't forget the claps. Um, yeah, get in here a little closer, a little closer. There you go. Can you get inside the gas tank? No? All right. I was kidding. That was just a joke. Um, these two holes right here are actual vent tubes that run from the hole. And there's actually tubes inside the tank that come out the back of the tank. And that's what these two ventilation tubes are for. So this is these, these, these vents are completely sealed. You don't have to worry about um, fuel leaking out of these two holes. And then these remaining holes are screw holes for the cap to mount to the tank. And if you feel inside, they all feel pretty sealed. So we only need to make sure that we seal off the actual filler hole where we're going to dump the fluids in to clean out the inside of the tank. All right, so we've got a slight change of plans. Um, instead of using the BMX rubber inner tube to seal the filler neck or the gas cap, we went ahead and put the gas cap back on. And that's gonna do two things for us. One, it's gonna make it easier to refill the tank if we need to rerun stage two because it didn't clean it out good enough. The other problem with the BMX inner tube is the filler hole doesn't have enough of a lip for the zip ties to kind of bind to and keep it sealed. So it was getting very, very difficult to install. Um, and then, like I said, if we need to pull it off and add more solution back into the tank to get it fully clean and get the metal etched up, then um, that was gonna be really, really difficult. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the filler. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go with the original gas cap. It will leak a little bit, but what we can do is we can put a drain pan underneath it, let it sit, as it needs to sit for some time to clean the rust and to etch the metal. And then um, we'll flip it back right side up, take whatever dripped into the drain pan, open up the, the uh, gas cap and just dump it back into the tank and continue the process. So wish me luck. Okay, it's time for the moment of truth. Um, we've got our seal on the bottom where the fuel pump goes. We've got the gas cap back on. We've got a half a gallon of some lukewarm water. Here we go. Whew, it doesn't smell good adding the warm water. Is it leaking? 